na yung kaso na yun ay matagal nang na-dismiss. Can the tax evasion case against Marcos be considered moral turpitude? Let's get insights and legal perspective from election lawyer Attorney Buco de la Cruz. Good evening, Attorney de la Cruz. Welcome to the big story. Uh, good evening, Robbie, and to your uh, viewers. Mm. Sir, I mean, how do you interpret moral turpitude and uh, do we have legal precedent uh, linking tax evasion in this case as uh, Justice Carpio insists hindi lang one year pa ulit ulit for four or five uh, straight years as it pertains to tax evasion is there precedent for that or is this still legal theory at this point uh, we have a precedence but not for tax evasion one is for libel no uh, meron isang pop publisher ng newspaper who happens to be a congressman na na-convict ng libel, uh, hindi siya nakulong dahil ang penalty na ipinataw ay fine. No? Parang yung kay uh, Senator Bob, yung nagbayad lang siya ng multa. But there was that conviction. And when he filed his certificate of candidacy, a petition for disqualification was also filed against this congressman. And the Supreme Court said that the offense, although there was no imprisonment, but simply since there was a conviction and he was made to pay a fine, the Supreme Court said that this constitutes moral turpitude because it is a transgression of law. Hmm. So kung yun ang standard na gagamitin natin, yung transgression of law na merong deliberate intent, no? uh, magkukwalify yung tax evasion. Doon nga sa libel, eh, yung congressman na yun, uh, Roby, publisher lang. Hmm. Hindi siya yung sumulat. No? Pero sinabi ng Supreme Court na, na he is disqualified to run hmm. because uh, he was convicted of libel kahit na hindi nakulong. Hmm. Yung, eh, what Justice Carpio was also saying is that they are, uh, this is hinging on moral turpitude because wala yung prison sentence. No? Wala yung 18 months na binanggit ni uh, common spokesperson James Jimenez. Now, because wala yung prison term na yon, they're now hinging it on moral turpitude. And the moral turpitude angle here now hinges in turn on the fact that this was a repeat um, evasion case. It was not just isang beses na pwede mo sabihin na kalimutan. Do you agree with that? That the, repeat, that the repeating nature of failing to pay taxes actually changes the nature of tax evasion? That, that, that's correct, no? Um, Yung offense kasi na tax evasion uh, is a serious offense. No? At yung pagpaulit-ulit na paggawa nito for several years constitutes moral turpitude. No? Malinaw sa akin yung interpretation ng Supreme Court ng moral turpitude na kinakailangan kasi merong active uh, involvement, eh. merong uh, may will, may deliberate may intent. So dito yung evasion ay clear kasi paulit-ulit. Pero Robi may Ro, Robi meron pang hindi na napansin yata na po pwedeng ma-file kay uh, uh, Senator Bongbo kasi merong question doon sa certificate of candidacy. May nakalagay doon, have you been convicted of an offense, no? Uh, yung yung question na yon, pagka hindi ka sumagot ng tama, that is a material misrepresentation. So that is a ground for cancellation of the certificate of candidacy. And this is separate and distinct from disqualification. Sa disqualification kasi, pwede ka pang masubstitute. Pero dun sa cancellation ng certificate of candidacy, walang substitution yun. You were never a candidate. Oh, I mean, just a quick question there. You can't just say that that was a, you know, that was a mistake. I was filling up the forms. Uh, I didn't completely understand it. Uh, and, and isang check lang naman yun eh. I mean, how, how big or how small uh, is, that, is, that, uh, is that problem? Uh, marami nang uh, ganyang naging depensa, no? na nagkamali sila. Na, na, kasi dalawa pipiliin mo ron, eh, yes or no. Eh. 
So pagka nag-no ka, pero meron ka palang conviction, hindi kasi ka panipaniwala no? na hindi mo alam dahil ikaw yung nakonvict. So if you made a material misrepresentation, you lied. And that is under oath. No? You lied under oath. The penalty is that the certificate of candidacy can be cancelled. And uh, it means you were never a candidate. You cannot be substituted. Bilang isang abogado ako ay uh, nagbibigay ng opinion tungkol doon sa petition for disqualification na inihain ng grupo ni Carpio at ni Te doon sa COVELEC. Pinapadisqualify nila si Bongbo Marcos as presidential candidate dahil daw meron daw itong kaso ng uh, conviction sa tax evasion uh, which involves moral turpitude. Yan ay isang malaking kasinungalingan. Sapagkat itong kaso na ito, na dati pa na meron ding disqualification case doon, yung mga kalaban ni Bongbong Marcos, ay uh, uh, na-decide na finally ng Supreme Court noon pang uh, August uh, 2009. 2009 pa itong kaso na ito, na-resolve ng Supreme Court. At ang sabi ng Supreme Court, there is no tax evasion by non-filing of uh, a return with uh, involving a moral turpitude. Yun ang sabi ng Supreme Court. And yung uh, case na yan is uh, People of the Philippines versus uh, Ferdinand uh, Marcos Jr. and uh, Imelda Marcos uh, sa, na merong uh, GR number 130371 and 130855 doon sa records ng Supreme Court. So, matagal nang wala yung kasong yan. Binubuhay lang nila sapagkat wala silang maibato kay uh, Bongbo Marcos sapagkat siya ang nangunguna ng napakataas dito sa presidential uh, uh, election sa 2022. At uh, yan ay uh, hayag na hayag na. Kaya sila natataranta kung ano-ano mga kabalbala ng ginagawa, kasinungalingan at uh, kung ano-ano paninira. Yan eh, walang kakwenta-kwentang kaso yan sapagkat na-dismiss na yan ng Supreme Court. Ang sabi nga ng Supreme Court, there is no tax evasion which involves moral turpitude. Basahin nyo yung case na yan, no? GR number 130371 at 130855. Ang title ay People of the Philippines versus Ferdinand Marcos. Matagal nang na-dismiss yan. Eh, kaya itong sila Carpio at sila Te, eh, siyempre, uh, naninira lang yung mga yan. Eh, huwag kayong maniwala dyan dahil talaga namang mga uh, kalaban yan sa politika. Eh, talagang ganyan lang ang kanilang teknik. Sa halip na mag-isip kung paano tayo makakabangon sa ekonomiya, kung paano natin mariresolba itong mga problema ng ating bansa, ang, ang ginagawa nila ay uh, manira ng manira sapagkat yun lang naman ang kanilang nalalaman ang manira at manira o, malinaw yan na yung kaso na yan ay matagal nang na-dismiss meron ng final and executory decision ang Supreme Court noon pang August 2009 o, napakatagal na kaya rehash issues lang yan na walang katuturan